Today, I want to talk about some potentially exciting news for Dorney Park. Found in the South Whitehall Township website, there is a plan for a Dorney Park attraction. Reading the application, it says as follows. An application to further develop the property located at 3830 Dorney Park Road. The plan proposes to remove an existing attraction, construct a new attraction, associated walkways and access drives, and relocate a portion of the existing Zephyr train ride. The new attraction will be approximately 106 feet tall. There are a few things to unpack there, but I want to start with the most exciting news, the new attraction. Looking at the provided site plan, you can see the new attraction will sit in the footprint previously occupied by Stinger, the Vacoma Inverted Boomerang. Stinger was ironically Dorney Park's last new coaster, which was really a re relocation from California's Great America. It was removed a few years ago because it was a maintenance nightmare. So considering this ride is fitting in the footprint of a boomerang, that means it will be pretty compact. And judging by the ride having some track and standing 106 feet tall from the plans, I'm almost certain it's a coaster. But what type of coaster? Looking at the site plan, I believe this will be a larger version of Switchback, the Gravity Group Shuttle Wood Coaster at ZDT's amusement park in Texas. This is an incredibly compact ride that could fit in the footprint of a boomerang, and there are elements in the site plan that are common to Switchback. If you follow the layout, it appears you start at the station, which I've marked in green. From there, it appears you'll head down towards the pavilions. This section will actually necessitate the modification of the park's existing Zephyr train ride. If you see here, you can see the bottom left turn is widened to accommodate this new attraction. Back to the likely new coaster, I am guessing this part that juts out towards the pavilions is a lift hill, and that's followed by a super tight 180 degree turn. This is a feature feature in most of Gravity Group's compact wooden coasters. It's a turn far too tight for conventional wood coaster trains, but Gravity Group's timber liners can navigate without any issues. I am guessing you then head down to the first drop, and you then see this straight section adjacent to the station. And I suspect this will be a switch track, much like the one on Switchback. You pass through on their first go, but later in the ride you'll come back into it in reverse and it'll eventually stop there. Back to the layout, it appears you'll then perform a figure eight in Stinger's old footprint after going through the switch track. The layout then just stops. That abrupt stop leads me to believe there's a spike, much like the one on Switchback. The coaster would then repeat the figure eight section in reverse before stopping on the section of track parallel to the station. So while the layout shares a lot of similarities to Switchback, it definitely is not a clone. For one, this proposed coaster is 70% taller. Switchback is 64 feet tall, this ride is 106 feet tall. I fully expect this coaster will have several airtime hills and overbanks like Switchback, but it will also have more speed. So that means the elements can either be larger or taken faster. In addition, I'm wondering if Gravity Group will throw in an inversion like they've done in Mindblower. That will make this coaster even more marketable. Again, it's already going to be highly marketable because it's the tallest and fastest wooden shuttle coaster out there. But they also could get the world's first inverting wooden shuttle coaster. The park's marketing department could have a field day with that. Do I think the Gravity Group wooden shuttle coaster would be a great fit for Dorney Park? Absolutely. Pennsylvania is a mecca of wooden coasters, but this ride would be unique to the region. ZDT's is over a day's drive away, and I'm going to bet that almost no one going to Dorney Park has ridden Switchback. Comparing Switchback to Dorney Park's existing coasters, it would easily be in the park's top three. Switchback is a fast-paced and smooth ride with a great layout. Now I want to talk about the other big news. Dorney Park will also be removing an existing attraction. And I think the site plan gives the answer, and you may not like it. This site plan is very detailed. It has food stands, game stands, and it shows the nearby attractions like Zephyr, Cedar Creek Flyers, and even Road Rally. But it's missing a pre-noteworthy attraction in Possessed, the park's Intamin Impulse Coaster. And I don't think that was an accident. If you look at the plan, you can clearly see the mechanical building adjacent to Possessed. But Possessed itself is gone. If Possessed leaves Dorney Park, it would be unfortunate since it's the park's only launch coaster. It's also the second most recent coaster the park had received after Stinger. So it would be pretty sad to see the park lose their two most recent coasters. However, it probably does have one of the higher operating costs due to that launch, and it's not a signature ride at the park. I think the other three steel coasters are the signature rides. 
Thankfully, Dorney seems like they'll soften the blow by adding their first new custom coaster in over 15 years. And I will say that Switchback is a lot better than Possessed. As for Possessed, I suspect it will be relocated and I have two candidates in mind. The first is California's Great America. The reason for that is the expansion proposal from a few years ago specifically listed in an impulse coaster. However, I don't think that's the best fit for the park. For one, it wouldn't be a standout coaster there. Railblazer, Gold Striker, and Flight Deck would still be the headliners. Plus, we have reason to believe their expansion plan isn't gospel considering the park got an RMC Raptor that wasn't anywhere on those original plans. I think the best fit would be Michigan's Adventure. Now, the argument you can make is that this park just doesn't get any new additions. Like, ever. The last new coaster they got was a relocated SLC from Geauga Lake, and they got that in 2008. And their last new attraction was a set of flying scooters in 2013. However, in terms of how it would enhance their ride lineup, it's obvious. After Shivering Timbers, which is a great ride, their next best coaster is probably Wolverine Wildcat, and that's not exactly a world beater. I think it's entirely fair to say Possessed would be the park's second best ride, and it would be extremely marketable for the park, as it would be their tallest and fastest attraction. Now there is a wrinkle to all this. After posting these plans online, the South Whitehall Township page was updated to say Dorney's application was withdrawn from the April 16th meeting at Dorney Park's request. Obviously my first thought was this was a cancellation due to COVID-19. But I do still have hope because two other applicants, Ridge Farm and Roof Subdivision, also withdrew their applications. I'm hoping this was just a decision to postpone the plans to a later meeting as opposed to scrapping them entirely. But anything's up in the air considering how this 2020 season, no one really knows what's going on. So we'll see what happens with this rumored new coaster, but it seems like Dorney Park could be finally getting a new coaster in 2021 or 2022. Stay tuned for more coaster content here at Canopy Coaster and thanks for listening.